Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Chromebook Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how to connect your Chromebook to your phone. If this is your first time here or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If that is something you're interested in, please visit for more. If you're only interested in tutorial videos, uh, there'll be links in the description box below. Chromebook released uh, in the latest uh, Chrome OS uh, 88 version uh, a feature that lets you uh, connect your Chromebook to your Android phone which I have it uh, right here on my uh, right and I haven't connected my Chromebook with my phone before and today I'm going to go uh, through the process for the first time and I'm going to show you how you can do that and how you can connect your Chromebook to your Android phone so my Chromebook I have is right here and then my Pixel uh, for a 5G phone I have is right here on my right which you're going to see very shortly and uh, let's connect uh, the Chromebook so the first thing uh, if if you haven't connected yet uh, you might get the connection uh, or phone hub notification right here which I have it so for example uh, let me just bring this a little closer so if I click here then you can see that it's turn asking you to you know uh, connect your phone with your Chromebook so you may or may not have this uh, icon right here. So if you do not see your phone hub on the tray right here, then click on settings by going to clicking on the clock sign right here. And then here you're going to click on the whole button, which is right here. And then here you're going to go to connected devices. And then here you can see that connect your Android phone and set up so what I'm going to do let me just uh, click on here set up and see what happens so connect to your phone so it, it says that you can text from your phone share your internet connection re reply to conversation notification and unlock your Chromebook with your phone so you can do all these and looks like it already detected my phone which is uh, Google Pixel 4a 5G so it's asking to select a device and uh, if you have more than one device then it's going to just you know um, select everyone then you have to accept the terms and conditions so which you're going to click on right here and then it's asking to enter the password so you're just going to enter uh, the password okay so now it says all set go to settings to see your options for better together so let's go to settings now and then here you can see that instant tethering is on smart lock is on and phone hub is on so notification view notifications from your chat apps on your Chromebook so you can turn this on if you'd like and recent Chrome tabs you can you can see you know recent Chrome tabs from your phone and looks like that's all we have and then you have to you can you know uh, send and receive text messages from your Chromebook so you can set that up too so at this point I'm not going to you know uh, turn on notification from the chat apps because I don't use it that much so I'm just going to keep everything here and then let me just minimize that and I'm going to just like you know open the phone hub right now and let's see what happens here okay so what's happening here that uh, I got a message on my phone that your Google Pixel 4 Pixel 4 a 5G and Chromebook will connect automatically so I'm getting a message here and let me just you know uh, click on here and then it just like you know uh, showing that you know they have been connected and let me just minimize that and here actually I don't see any, any other options so what I'm going to do, let me just uh, check your connection. So it's asking you to turn on Bluetooth on both your Chromebook and both your, you know, uh, phone. So let's, you know, click on the, uh, turn on the Bluetooth, which is right here. And then I'm going to just turn on Bluetooth on my uh, Pixel phone as well and see what's happened here. Okay, so I can see that Pixel 4a 5G connected. So let me just, you know. Uh, so it looks like now 
it's asking you to connect to Bluetooth and please confirm the pass key is shown on your Pixel 4 or 5G. So here you have to input those numbers on Pixel and I'm going to go to Pixel right here and you can see that it's giving you pair and connect. So the pairing code is 279963 and I'm going to just click on it and then pair and I'm just going to set it aside and authentication failed we're connecting to pixel 4 a 5g okay so that i'm not sure why it failed let's try again okay set up get started okay so here on my phone i got a message that turn on notification uh, use pattern which is the ID uh, password so let's just you know enter the password and it says that turn on Google Play services which is turn on and then looks like this is done and here on the Chromebook you can see that notification turned on now you can receive notification from your phone on your Chromebook and dismissing notification on your Chromebook will also dismiss them on your phone. So make sure your phone is nearby, it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on. So let's click on done. And I'm going to just, you know, get rid of the screen. And I'm going to just uh, go back to Phone Hub again. And let's see if you can see the notification. So here you can see that uh, hotspot is off silence phone is off locate phone is up so i can turn this off if you if i would like and here i can see some messages uh from my you know chrome tab which is actually on my phone so that looks like working and then locate phone so let me just you know click this on and you can see that it's actually ringing on my phone so for sure this is working and I'm going to just you know close that and enable hotspot you know or hotspot which is off let me just you know turn it off and see what happens okay so this is just actually uh, you know connecting your or tethering uh, Chromebook with your phone uh, and I have the message notification here provide data connection but I don't need that so I'm just going to leave it as is and I'm going to just you know turn it off again because I'm using Wi-Fi at home uh, so basically it looks like that's all we have here so if I had turned on the message or notification for text then definitely I would have seen more stuff here but I didn't turn that on and let me just go back to setting so basically you're looking at the same thing so it looks like that's all there is. Uh, I would just like to mention quickly that Win uh, Windows uh, or Microsoft has a similar app uh, which is called Your Phone or uh, you know My Phone and uh, you can actually access uh, your phone from that app too. And uh, so th this is another option uh, you can access on your phone from Chromebook. But uh, the notifications and the features it's offering I kind of don't like it a lot. I don't see they are offering or giving you lots of features and options. You know, they're giving you something, but it's not a lot. Uh, and uh, I find it kind of not that user friendly because it just kept, you know, asking to enter if passwords and like, you know, uh, verify again and again. And even at one point it showed, you know, uh, connection failed, although it got connected. Another thing I didn't like uh, is that the Bluetooth. So you have to, you know, uh, keep on Bluetooth all the time, which I don't like. Uh, I try not to uh, keep turn on Bluetooth. And uh, so at the end, I'm not going to be using this feature, uh, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to show you. Um, I like Windows uh, app a lot better than Chromebook, where you don't need to turn on or keep Bluetooth on all the time and it gives you a lot more access and like you know more user friendly than uh, the chromebook uh, phone hub so overall uh, this is okay but you know it's not that great and uh, i just wanted to show you how to connect and how it works so thank you for watching this video you see there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you